them. Uh, last night at approximately 9.05, uh, the Charleston County Consolidated Dispatch received a call for a shooting that occurred at the Emanuel AME Church on Calhoun Street in downtown Charleston. Charleston police units were immediately dispatched and arrived at that location. Uh, when we did, we initially identified uh, eight victims inside of the church that had suffered gunshot wounds. Uh, earlier, we told you that there were two uh, victims that were transported to MUSC. Uh, there was actually one victim that was transported to MUSC, and that individual uh, is deceased as well. So we have a total of nine victims that were involved in this uh, very tragic situation that occurred last night. Uh, of the victims, there are uh, three males and six female victims uh, in this tragedy. As we told you last night, we have, a, uh, com we have a unified command that has been set up that is comprised of the Charleston Police Department, Charleston County Sheriff's Office, State Law Enforcement Division, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, uh, and other federal agencies that are working with us. Uh, we are committed, we are determined, uh, and we are, we are um, definitely working uh, right now with a number of agents and police officers in our region to identify the individual that we uh, passed out to you about one hour ago that is the suspect in this case. This is a situation that is um, unacceptable in any society, and especially uh, in our society, in our city. We are committed to do whatever is necessary to bring this individual to justice, and uh, I am committed, and all the people that are working with us are committed to do uh, whatever it takes to work as long as we have to. Uh, our partners are committed. We are bringing in resources from Washington, D.C., from the FBI headquarters to help us. We set up a hotline, as we mentioned earlier, 1-800-CALL-FBI. We have agents uh, and police officers manning that phone. We will continue to man that phone until we've identified and arrested this suspect. It's critical that the members of the community who have seen the picture of the vehicle as well as the suspect to call law enforcement. This is a very dangerous individual. He should not be approached by anyone call law enforcement if you recognize the individual or the car so that we can take the appropriate action to address this situation. Again, this is a very dangerous individual and we do not want more people harmed trying to approach him or trying to uh, follow the vehicle if they see it. Notify law enforcement and we will uh, address that. We are also very concerned about the families of the victims. We have set up a family assistance center at the Embassy Suites in downtown Charleston. Uh, we have members of the Charleston Police Department Victim Advocacy Unit, as well as the FBI Citizen or Victim Assistance Unit as well. Uh, I just wanna say this, from the time this call came in, we had resources coming from all over the East Coast. Um, we've got more resources that are coming in this morning from the FBI and other federal agencies. Uh, the State Law Enforcement Division has committed a significant number of resources, both their crime scene, their investigative agents, and we are not leaving anything, any stone unturned. This tragedy that we're addressing right now is indescribable. No one in this community will ever forget this night. And as a result of that, and because of the pain, and because of the hurt that this individual has caused this community, this entire community, the law enforcement agencies that are working on this are committed, and we will catch this individual. The important thing for you as the media is to help us catch this individual. You have the ability to get this picture, to get this car out to places quickly. A broad perspective of media is here, social media. Please help us to help our community.
<clears throat> First of all, I thank you, Chief Mullen, and uh, members of our police department and, and all of the departments who are here, the, the state, uh, the FBI, uh, the county, uh, other jurisdictions, uh, and the immediacy and the quality of the work of our law enforcement agencies has been inspiring. This is an unfathomable and unspeakable act uh, by somebody filled with hate and, and with a deranged mind. And as Chief Mullen said, this person is dangerous. We need every tip we can get to bring this person into custody as soon as possible. And of course, we'll make sure that he pays the price for this horrible act. In our community, which is a community together, people loving and respecting each other. It is a community that, that honors our religious institutions and, and respect the different cultures and beliefs. We call the holy city, all the church fires uh, that reach up to the sky, including Mother Emanuel AME Church, where this horrific crime occurred last night. So of all communities, in, in Charleston, you have a horrible, hateful person go into a church and kill people there to pray and worship with each other is, is something that is beyond incomprehensible uh, and is not explained. But this is what we can do. Now, we can catch this no good, horrible person and see that he pays the price. And then what we will do and what this community has always done is we're going to put our arms around that church and that church family. This is an historic church. AME Church and, and the African American churches were very important of religious as well as, as social pieces of a fabric of society here for a few hundred years. Uh, people come to these churches to pray and worship and to support each other, to help each other. And, and this historic church was exactly that. So what this community will do, and I've seen this great community respond to challenges before, you will see an outpouring of love and, and assistance and kindness and, and help and, and these people, these citizens, these families, and the chief and I met with them last night and hugged as many as we could. There were probably a couple of hundred in their families and friends, and weeping and uh, distraught. Uh, you know, mothers and, and grandmothers and fathers and grandfathers uh, were killed in their church. And, uh, and we, we extended to them for our community our love. So today we're committed to finding this horrible scoundrel, but today we're going to, this community is going to provide the best example of a community coming together to help those grieving because of a unbelievable event that has forever ruptured their family bond. And we will work to heal them, and love them, and support them, and that church uh, as long as we live. 